This is an application called Flashlight by Whistle. And as the name so helpfully indicates, with this app activated, anytime you whistle and you're in the nearby vicinity of your phone, the flashlight will turn on. I genuinely downloaded this app thinking that it would be a total gimmick and I was expecting it to work like only half the time at best. But not only is it super useful for quickly switching on your phone's torch when it's out of reach, but it's actually really reliable as well. Pretty dang cool. Okay, second up today is Swirl. And whilst this isn't necessarily an application, it is a brand new wallpaper pack designed by me. And it is perhaps my favorite set of wallpapers that I've made so far. I think I say that every time I release a new wallpaper pack. This pack comes with 12 unique wallpapers, each of which have this abstract liquidy swirl style look to them. And I designed each of these backdrops to have colorways that I think make any home screen setup look seriously amazing. As always, each wallpaper is a crispy 5K resolution. Plus for anyone using an iOS device, I've also created a version of each wallpaper that you can use to hide your dock, depending on whether you've got the light or dark theme activated. And yes, they do work with iOS 16 and the latest iPhone 14 devices. I'm super proud of this wallpaper pack, so hopefully you love them as much as I do. And along with a bunch of other apps featured in today's video, if you sign up as a channel member within the first week of this video going live, then you will actually get this wallpaper pack completely for free. All right, following that is Smart Launcher. And despite the fact that this has well over 10 million downloads on the Google Play Store, believe it or not, I only just recently tried it out for the very first time. The launcher has pretty much all of the key features you'd want out of a customizable home screen launcher, including detailed icon theming, custom grid sizing options, gesture support, font theming, plus creating and restoring backup files, all of which are features included with the free version, which is incredible. Plus, there's even this really neat interface for creating clean mockups of your home screen setups, which you can then save and share online. There's a heap of additional customizations available as well. And the entire launcher just has a fresh and unique design language that you don't really see in home screen launches these days. It was actually featured in two of the three setups from my recent best Android setups video. So if you wanna see in even more detail just how versatile the launcher is in real world use, then check out that video linked up in the cards and down in the description below. Following that is OneEdge, and this is a floating window edge panels application that is not only outrageously functional, but it also looks incredible. With the app set up and activated, you'll then see this little indicator on the side of your display, and you just swipe on that indicator to open up the panel. From there, you can swipe through each of the various panels, including app shortcuts, a timer, a compass, and a ruler combined, plus my personal favorite, a drinking water reminder, which has this really cool animation that fills up whenever you press this button to indicate you have indeed drunk some water. There's also some other panels as well, plus some customizations to tweak how it behaves. And what's even more impressive is just how well it works with the system back gesture. I've never had issues opening this panel or with it conflicting with the system back gesture. Plus, it's also completely free, which is amazing. Next up, we have At My Site. And this is a really useful companion app to the incredible At My Site platform. And a huge shout out to the team at At My Site for being kind enough to sponsor today's episode. So if you've ever wanted to convert a website into a native iOS or Android application, At My Site is a platform that makes the process outrageously simple. You just sign up to At My Site, enter your website's URL, and once At My Site has analyzed everything, you can then dive in and make as many changes as you like. This includes changing the app icon, making tweaks to the splash screen and login page, adjusting the colors and icons found on the bottom bar, as well as the actual content within the app. Plus, there's a heap of other changes you can make as well. Once you've finished, you can then use the App My Site application to preview the app on your own phone. And I think the results speak for themselves. And in fact, this fashion app you've been seeing throughout was actually an app I made on App My Site in under five minutes. It is truly an incredible tool. So if you wanna try out App My Site, then you can do so using the first link down in the description below. Okay then, the next app on the list today is XS Camera. And this is an app that actually lets you record videos from your phone's camera without it being open. You just grant the app the necessary permissions, hit start camera, and then the app will start recording using either your rear or selfie camera, depending on what you've set up. 
By default, whenever you're recording, you'll see this little preview down the bottom, which you can tap to open the app and stop the recording. But you can also change this to the app icon, a red dot, or even nothing should you so desire. There are also a heap of additional settings that make the app incredibly powerful, including scheduling recordings. And even more than that, the app is completely free. Now folks, I obviously do not condone filming or taking pictures without people's consent, so do the right thing here, but I can totally see this app coming in clutch depending on the situation. And then we have Rupu, and this is a neat little app that lets you pin almost anything to your notification panel so that you can remember it for later on. So for example, if someone has sent you a video that you wanna watch later in the day, just share it to Rupu, hit okay, and it'll get pinned to your notification panel. Or maybe someone sent you a document that you need to remember to read. Again, share it to Rupu, hit OK, and there you go. You can then open and remove your various notifications whenever you're done with them, and the app even offers some inbuilt options that you can custom make yourself. It's actually a really useful app with a fantastic design, so well worth checking out. Now, Ambient Music Mod is an app that I featured in a recent best apps not available on the Play Store video, but it is just so dang impressive that I just absolutely had to include it in today's video as well. Put simply, this is a really cool application that emulates one of my favorite features, normally exclusive to Google Pixel devices, the now playing functionality. This is the feature that'll use the microphones on your device in the background to listen to the surrounding sounds. And if it picks up that a song is playing, it'll show you the name of the song and artist right on your lock screen. And with the ambient music mod installed, you can actually activate almost the exact same feature on non-Pixel phones. If you're running Android 12 or later, then you can get the app to work simply by using the Shizuku application. But if you're running Android 9, 10 or 11, then the app will require root access. Now it doesn't have quite as vast a library of songs as Google obviously has access to, but it is seriously impressive that we can get almost all of the way there through the use of a third party application. All right, if you're looking for an app to help you to develop good money saving habits, then Jam Jars is a really solid option with a really cool and unique design. As the name indicates, the app revolves around jars, similar to the concept of money saving jars. And all you do is tap this plus button, give your jar a name, let's say travel, then you enter how much money is already in this figurative jar, which might be zero if you're just starting out. And then you set a goal amount for how much you want or need to save. Then you give yourself a deadline if need be, set a color and then hit save. That jar will then be placed on the app's home screen, but as you can see, it also has this really neat liquid style animation to indicate how full that jar is. There are a few other settings worth checking out as well, but for me, the design of this app is what gives it the edge. It's quite unique, but also very visually appealing at the same time. I really like it. And so finally today we have Liquid Drink, and this is an app made by the same developer as the One Edge application. And if you thought the drink reminder panel had a cool animation, well then you're gonna absolutely love this application. The app is basically like a full screen version of that drink reminder panel in that you enter your age and weight information, and then the app will create a daily drink goal based on what your body requires. The app will then send you reminders to drink every so often, but what makes this app an absolute knockout is the main interface. So anytime you drink anything, you tap this icon down here, find the beverage you've drunk on this list, swipe on it, and then select the amount you drank. But then whenever you tap any of the liquids, it'll get added to this liquid simulation interface with incredibly accurate liquid style animations, plus with the colors matching whatever you've drunk. So if you've only had water throughout the day, it'll remain blue. But if you then drink some Coke or a coffee, for example, that blue color will then become slightly brown. And even more than that, the liquid animation will actually move around as you hold the phone in your hand. It is so well designed, plus really great for your health as well. And so that is it. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. And like I said, I do also have promo codes for my channel members for some of the apps featured in today's video. So a huge shout out to each of the developers on screen right now. And like I said, if you wanna get direct access to these promo codes, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the first week or so of this video going live, which you can do so using the link below. On top of that, if you missed my recent announcement video, then I am super excited to let you know that my new Android application shelf 
just went live on the Google Play Store. And this app actually acts as a direct link to this top Android app series because it showcases every application I've ever featured within this series on the channel in a beautifully laid out interface. I'll link it below in case you wanna check it out and start exploring. And just one other announcement, which is that my Discord server just went public a couple of weeks back. So if you wanna join that really cool community, then I've also linked that below. Once again, a big shout out to at my site for supporting the channel. Make sure you check them out using the first link down in the description below. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.